Anyways, so I'm filling up the Jeep and I'm running off uh, some hydrogen and uh, some mileage. Anyway, let's see how it works. I'm going to be using a cell phone to record this. Uh, it take me a little while to be freaking uh, driving around for a while. And uh, we'll see how this works out. So it seems to be running very, very, very smooth. So anyway, let's see how this goes. Yeah, I would have a real good idea uh, how much I filled it up because uh, part of the gas was um, in, the, in the actual, you can see it, you can see it in the filler net. So it'll be an accurate measurement when I go to refill it up again. So anyway, you know, that's where the gauge goes. I wait till it gets down about a quarter. Throw it up, and it should be a pretty accurate measurement. Just want to take a little pit stop, make sure it's still working. The amps are okay. Uh, I'm gonna actually have to uh, put some, you know, tape on a spitting so I can realize that. So I will do that later. I'm gonna get this mileage test done today. Well, here's the fill up. We did 81.2 miles. <laughs> so, 81.2 miles, 2.72 gallons. And, uh, okay, that's so that comes under a fraction under 30 miles per gallon, which is the best I ever got in this car. I actually only uh, I've had this Jeep since September of 87. I mean, the absolute best I ever got on it, ever, was 26 and a half, 27. Now, I'm running tires that are two sizes over. Uh, the speedometer is calibrated for 195. Um, this is a Jimny. This is not a Samurai. It's calibrated for um, 195. Speed, uh, tires, these are 215. So, actually, I went further by, I don't know, Five percent or something. Plus, they're uh, I didn't even fill up the tires. They're kind of soft, so <laughs> you could tell they're soft. So if I and I have, this car's been sitting a while, I think actually if I was using it, it would um, probably get well into the thirties. But I've never got that good a mileage before. So that it's do, it does do something. It definitely does do something. And that should have been a pretty accurate measurement because when I filled up the tank, I was able to see inside of here, you know, the gas. So that's why I figured that's good enough. So, but in the whole, I had this thing since September of 1987. And when I got the best mileage on it, it was like 26 and a half, maybe almost 27. I had 100% street tires on it and they were inflated to 32 pounds. Um, I haven't put any air in these tires since last year. They're probably a little soft, and they're two sizes over. So I actually went a few miles more. So, I mean, that, the speedometer is, is uh, calibrated because this is a Jimny. This is not a Samurai. A Samurai, the standard tires are 205s. These are 215s. Um, this is a Jimny. The standard tires on this are calibrated for 195, so these are two sizes over. So probably gives you a little bit better mileage. The other thing is I don't use this thing too much. If I was using it a lot, it would probably clean out all the crap that's in the engine, and it would probably get much better mileage than that, too. It would probably get well into the 30s, no problem. So it never, ever did that. Like I said, I owned this vehicle since almost new so that tells you something it works and the other thing um, I was getting caught in a lot of rush hour traffic too a lot of stop and go um, so you want to know if it was all smooth driving no it was like that's real world stuff so anyway the only thing I got to do now is 
Um, I got to put some um, Teflon tape on the fittings. I should have done that right from the beginning. I didn't. I knew about it, but I just didn't do it. I didn't think it was necessary because of the. Uh, it was like plastic on Lexon, and I thought that would seal good, but it seemed like it was in there tight. But I need to put some Teflon tape on there. So anyway, um, the stuff works. If I use this Jeep. I don't use it that much. It's only short trips. If I was using it for more trips, um, more often, I think the mileage would go up. If I remember, like if I let the Jeep sit a while, it would only get about 20, 22 miles per gallon. So it's been sitting a while, and I just tried this, and it got freaking uh, 30 or 29.75 or something or whatever, 30, 30. So. It's pretty, and you got to remember again that speedometer is calibrated for 195 size tires, not 215 size tires. These are 215s. I put them on here, so they're bigger and they're taller, so you're actually going further. I don't know what that is. Maybe uh, it's not that much of a difference. Say it's say it was maximum of five percent. So if it was five percent, it might be uh, one and a half miles per gallon better. So. It's definitely getting 30 miles to the gallon in the real world, and it never did that. Again, I've owned this Jeep since September of 87, and I'm very familiar with the mileage on it. So it's the best it's ever done by far. HHO works, and it may be the carburetor, the Toyota carburetor, too. I heard they give you a boost. But, um, hey, it's never done this good, so... Get a Toyota carburetor, that 22R, I got the videos on that, and the HHO Liberator, and you got an Econo box with four-wheel drive.